advanced background color change in capture one okay so this kind of picture um is very very tricky uh, when it comes to changing the background color of this picture because the red color on the background is on the model the lips the eyes and the skin tone so it may be very difficult to eliminate the colors on the skin and change the background color um independently but um there's a way there's a, there's a hack to do that in capture one okay so the first thing you want to do is fix the color balance because um at the moment everything is looking warm and then the colors are close to each other but the moment you fix the white balance it you know what the white balance separates colors you know gives a distinct look to every color so that way it will be easy for you to separate the red on the background from the red on the skin so the first thing you want to do is correct the white balance okay so drag it towards blue because it's looking warm I remember this is a dark skinned model okay now this is the before everything looking yellow looking warm this is the after look at the skin tone coming out well now okay so after doing your color correction with the white balance tool the next thing you want to do is to create a new layer and name it skin or background whatever anything that makes you remember okay uh -huh. so um now the next thing you want to use is your color editor just like we did in the previous video so select the background now then check what you have selected after checking we can still see all the skin tone showing and the color of the eyes everything is still showing okay so the next thing to do to fix this to, to eliminate the the red on the skin the red on the eyes to eliminate the colors you don't want to tamper with is to is to manipulate this triangle here okay you can either shift it towards this side you can shift it like this can you see by, shift, by shifting it downward you can see the skin tone disappearing right okay so slide it to what will work for you okay but don't do it too much so that we'll not lose the red in the background you see if you do it too much you will lose the red in the background so next thing is you can still move the slider like this like this and you can move it like this okay okay now we have been able to eliminate the red on the skin okay and the red on the background is still intact so the next thing you want to do is you cannot do it beyond this you cannot remove the remaining red in this picture okay because to remove this red you have to remove the red on the background also but after getting to this kind of point the next thing you want to do is undo this now press b on your keyboard or select the masking brush okay then start drawing a mask start drawing a mask on the background of this particular image so draw the mask around the body make sure it touches the edges of of your model and I will explain why okay after doing this Okay, after doing this, remove the mask. Sorry, let me correct some things here. Remove the mask, okay. Now on this new um background, on this sorry, on this new layer, the next thing you want to do is start moving these sliders here. 
knowing that whatever you do here will only affect the place where you have the mask. Okay. Now, the reason I said let your mask touch the edges of your model while brushing over the background is because when you click this, we have eliminated all the red on the edges of your model. So anything you do will not affect the edges because there is no red on the edges of your model. Now, there's a little red here which will be affected, but we'll show you how to fix that. Okay. This is the only red that will be affected and our mask is not touching it. As long as your mask does not touch this part where you have red, all these parts where you have red, as long as your mask does not touch them, you're good. Okay, so bring out the mask, bring out the eraser, and erase this, okay? As long as your mask does not touch all these places where you have the red color, okay? You are good to go. So let your mask touch the edges of your image, knowing that you have eliminated all the red color on the edges of your image. Okay. You see now, we are good. Now, whatever we do now will not affect all the red on the skin because we have masked the background. So now let us shift our slider and see what will happen. So remove the mask. So deselect, now deselect this to see the picture in real time. Now move your slider towards this, okay. So, pick it again. Move your slider. Okay, now we have gotten to green. Let's, let's shift it towards blue, okay. Now we are at blue, okay. Then, and the last thing you want to do is to adjust the edges of your image, okay. So now go back to your mask and brush. Get the mask and brush, and then all these parts where you are, when you are still seeing the original color background, carefully brush over them, okay. And then use the eraser to erase it from the skin, leaving it on the background alone, okay? Fix the remaining parts, okay? For this side also, Just carefully brush over the edges of your model, okay? And then use the eraser to erase the hair. And then your brush again. And we are good. Okay, so this is the before. Now this is the after. You can see we have been able to change the red to the, um, to the color of our choice. Okay, you can still come here. Brush your mask over this edge. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see that we have changed the background color perfectly without tampering with the color on the face and the skin. Okay, so this is the advanced background color change in Capture One. And with this same technique, you can change any color in Capture One to what you want. Okay, you can change the color of the lips to anything you want with this same technique okay so let us even let me show you how to do some of this thing I just mentioned now so open another layer open another layer and then rename it um, lips press enter okay 
on this new layer what you want to do is take your brush your masking brush zoom in reduce the size okay and then brush your mask over the lips do it carefully so as not to tamper with the skin So after masking the lips, press M to remove the mask. Now you can add, you can you can increase the saturation here. Can you see it? Or desaturate it? Increase the saturation. Okay. Another thing you want to do is refine your mask. You can you refine the edges of your mask so that it's, it's not looking weird? Okay, this will blend the edges of the lips with the skin okay after doing this apply it okay before and after you can see now okay so um go back to your color panel and then under advanced you can select this and change it to any color of your choice with the same process okay for example, let's change this to to blue. So let's move it here. We are now at purple and we're going to blue. So let's click it one more time and drag it down here. We are now at color blue. Okay, we're almost there, not there yet. Almost there. Now we are at color blue, okay. So if this is what you want, we have been able to achieve it, okay? Um, and then let's do the same thing for the eyes. Same procedure, just add another layer, rename it as eyes. Press enter your keyboard, okay? And then select your um, masking brush by pressing B. Zoom in and then brush over. This part of the eyes, press M to see it. Fill it, okay. Do the same thing for this side. Fill it up again. Okay, the next thing I want to do is refine the, the mask so it's not looking weird, okay. Wait for it. Okay, after refining the edges of the mask, remove the mask and then now select the red here. Change, change it to any color of your choice. Select the yellow also. Change it to anything that you like. So this is the before, this is the after. So you can continue to select the colors and change them to whatever you want. Okay. This is how to change colors in, in Capture One to anything that you want.